All right, so here is just a little proof of life for the 65XE install of an Ultimate One Meg and a Sophia. And so I'm just going to power this on here. First thing I've got is I've got it on standard composite here just so that we can see everything that's going on. Okay, we've got a nice directory. And everything's good. Gonna turn this off and going to install, just plug in an SIO 2PC, just a standard little unit that I've got in the case via the SIO, just to test the SIO port. And plug that in like that. And then we're going to change the input on the monitor here. And then I'm going to route this so we can see it. And yeah, we're good. Okay, so turn it back on. No VBXE because it didn't install, but I'm using my standard boot. I'm also going to change to the DVI here and get a picture, which, oh, DVI, there we go, okay. It's nice. Uh, do the directory again. But also, let's check the A drive, which is the SIO2 PC. Okay. You will note that, um, let's do a cold boot. Uh, no. You will note that it's 4.49C of Spur.S X, which was the most recent version as of July 20th. Everything's been installed. Uh, the way to access the setup menu for the Ultimate One Meg is press help and then reset. It will send you into this. This is your standard setup menu. Uh, just change it, change screens by using the right and left arrow keys. And then to change something, just highlight it yeah, up and down and then press enter. You've got different options. I put the one meg Rambo. Uh, let's put this at your standard. Uh, let's do the XLOS. Uh, you can get different OS's. Uh, this is just the most compatible one. Basic C is installed. Basic is enabled by default. I also set this up so if you press enter here, it enables the graphical OS. You then press B for boot. And it boots into Flash uh, Jazz Cats. Uh, graphical OS. He's still working on it. Um, you need some additional things to, to play with it, like you know, a mouse or joystick or something, but that's there for you in case he, once he updates it. And to change it back, just highlight SDX, enable it. A couple of things. Uh, date and time is set. I have enabled the PBI BIOS. The best way, this is the best way to access some mass storage devices. Um, there is a side two cartridge and a couple other different ways to access uh, storage devices. The side two is the easiest one for your setup. So I've, I've set that up for you. I've set up high speed IO. If you have some problems with some programs, particularly some copy protected programs, you might want to turn that off. It's only set for the floppies, so um, I'm going to change this 
So it's high speed IO for the floppies and for D1 through D4 and DSIO to PC. Okay, so if you do the PC link and you can read and write, this is real nice. It's set up. This is tells you everything that's going on here. And all these keys here, whether it's exit, B, X, B, S, escape, C, D, L, uh, 1 through 3, or P, will work on whatever screen you're on. For example, I'm going to press B. It's going to boot. It beeps because it's got no SD, um, no VBXE. Everything's set up. Um, there is one thing I want to show you. And I hope you're not easily motion sick because I like to have a reversible as possible. So that's the side two cartridge. And you'll notice it's got a compact flash in it. So I'm going to shut this off. Uh, this is just a USB power cord that I sell. That's It's the easiest way to provide power. If you want any sound, you are still going to have to route your sound out of the standard modern, um, monitor port. Okay, So I've got this hooked up just to a standard switch box. Your SIO is unmodified, but you will notice... I've routed the Sophia out of that port. It doesn't get in the way, but it's reversible. So I'm going to post this, and if you want me to cut into a case, I can do that, but that's not reversible error. I can't put it here because, the, um, as you can tell from the pictures I've sent you, this is where the Ultimate One Meg is. I could mount it above here. Um... I might be able to route a port over here, but I've got to cut the case, and uh, it it'll be okay. It's just never going to be pretty. So I I think you're better off with this, but that's up to you. Okay, um, it's nice, it's easy. Uh, you can mount some two-sided tape and maybe tape it to the top and then it's reversible but that's up to you if you want me to cut a hole in the case you let me know other than that uh, everything looks good it's all set and you are good to go